you have good rice and bad rice. Some of them are rough, some are easy, some of them are good. But she had more good than bad. And that's the way marriage is. You're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days. The other thing he taught her was how to shovel shit. <laughs> and as much shit as Corey puts out, she's going to have a lot to shovel. So just about every time he opens his mouth, shit is falling out. But I will say this, with bringing people into our life, you have brought a very special man into our life. We love him, we appreciate him, and we thank you for everything you've done for our daughter. Once again, thank y'all for being here. We appreciate y'all coming. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day you've given us. Thank you for letting us come together to celebrate Corey and Kaylin's wedding. Thank you for our family and friends and bringing us together. Thank you for allowing our kids to teach us a lot of things through life as we've grown and got older. Be with us, guide us, and strengthen us. Help this food nourish our body and keep everybody safe tonight. In Christ's name, amen. I'm Kaylin's first cousin and sister. Um, <laughs> there was a brief period before she turned 18 that she was my goddaughter. Then we can fast forward a little bit to when you ate rat poison. <sighs> that was, she's always into something. I always just wanted to, you know, take care of you and so did Tiffany with Julianne. And, but, you know, we fell down the stairs together. And Joe likes to say, I dropped you. I like to say we did it together, um, but we both survived. <laughs> um, and then I just remember, you know, going and watching you with your horses, going to the barns, going to the forks. I tried to be there as much as I could because I'm just so proud of you. Um, let's keep going a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I remember when you were single, you were already planning your wedding on Pinterest. Um, <laughs> because when Pinterest came out, it was cool. You could just scroll and we would just sit on the couch together and it was just nice being able to be girly girls together, even though we both don't mind getting dirty too. Um, and then, you know, I moved away and that was hard because I miss you so much. Jesus says, do not let it get to this point. Apologize to each other and then drop it. God has always given us a way to deal with offenses and it's having him in our lives. Always put God in your marriage first. Learn to talk about things, then leave them alone. Relationships aren't about how quickly you can get offended, but how quickly you can drop it. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Now, Corey, for the moment you've waited for, you may kiss your beautiful bride.
done Run to her fast to the make the moment run Come on Wonder how fast did it make them all run? Come on. 